Hallo ihr Lieben und herzlich Willkommen zu einem neuen Part The Council. Ja, wir haben im letzten Part, haben wir ähm, alles zusammen gesammelt, was wir brauchten, ähm, was unsere Mutter uns aufgetragen hat und wir sollen jetzt zum Bootsanleger, ähm, genau, wir sind hier draußen im Garten Napoleon begegnet und haben mit dem irgendwie gesprochen und sollen uns eigentlich von allen irgendwie fernhalten und einfach nur zusehen, dass wir zu diesem blöden Anleger kommen, ähm, ja, ich hoffe, dass wir da heile irgendwie hinkommen. Ich muss ja eigentlich nur in Anführungsstrichen in die Haupthalle. <lacht> das könnte lustig werden. Ich sehe schon, dass das hier noch eine ganz interessante Wendung nehmen wird. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob wir da auch anders hinkommen würden, als den Weg, den wir jetzt laufen. Es tut mir übrigens auch leid mit der Verwirrung letzte Woche. Ich habe irgendwie am Mittwoch vergessen, den Mittwochspart hochzuladen, habe den dann für Donnerstag hochgeladen, kam Freitag dann aber auch vergessen, den Donnerstagspart hochzuladen, weil ich eigentlich für Freitag gar keinen Part geplant hatte. Es war alles verwirrend, deswegen kam er Samstag, aber ich gebe mein Bestes, dass das jetzt alles wieder hinhaut. Ich hatte halt einfach, keine Ahnung, ich habe nur so viel um die Ohren gehabt, dass ich das irgendwie, ja, naja, ja halt einfach irgendwie verballert habe. Es tut mir leid. Ich weiß auch nicht momentan. Ich habe die letzten Nächte oder die letzten, jetzt ziemlich schlecht geschlafen die letzten Wochen und bin einfach nicht so ganz auf dem Damm. Aber Plan ist, dass ich das jetzt, also ich hoffe, dass das jetzt wieder äh, sich zu etwas Besserem wendet. Ich wollte nochmal gucken, ob wir noch irgendwie so einen komischen Schlüssel haben, aber haben wir glaube ich nicht mehr. Ne? Das habe ich alles abgelegt. Habe ich alles genutzt. Bitte lass hier keinen sein. Nein, gut, hier ist niemand, der uns anspricht. Oh Gott. Ich möchte ja eigentlich nur noch durch. Ich bin gespannt, was da noch alles kommt, weil wir sind ja auch noch gar nicht, also wir haben mehr als die Hälfte des Spiels, aber da kommt ja halt noch ein bisschen was. Dementsprechend, oh Gott. Verdammt. Oh, verdammt. Ah, verdammt. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Ähm, muss ich? Ich will eigentlich nicht. Ich will eigentlich gar nicht. So, warte mal, ich muss mal ganz kurz Notizen. Äh, immun gegen Wissenschaft ist wahrscheinlich gegen alles immun. Huch, was war das denn, Louis? Come closer, please. Nein. It's time we had a little chat. I wanted you. Oh no, your hand. Damn it, no. So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? I say nichts. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. Okay. Um, wir fragen mal. Wir fangen mal an, durchzufragen. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class, it's ridiculous. We are not angels, we don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. Das ist der Wahnsinn, Leute. Es ist der Wahnsinn. 
You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. If I follow you, you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Äh, sollen wir ihn das alles fragen? Ja, ich, also ich bin neugierig. Ich will wirklich alles von ihm wissen. I've noticed that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the third. It was during the siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. Apart from that, Indeed, I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. Also krass, Alter, einfach über Jahrzehnte ein und dieselbe Person zu sein. Did you experience ancient Rome? Oh yes. Luxury and decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme, but from this period I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh yes, yes. We were gods on earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The, the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Ooh, I see you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. Alter, da war da einfach ein Pharao. Ich hab das, Alter, was ist mit dem Typen nicht richtig? Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles. He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I, I would rather not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. Oh. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? The what? Am I dreaming? Oh, please, oh, tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but... Yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. Es ist wild. Es ist einfach wild. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Das ist, also, das ist, das ist ein bisschen, ein bisschen drüber, oder? Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly, doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Hm. Ich will nicht auf den Teufel, ich will ihn nicht auf den Teufel ansprechen. Gott, Alter, wie viele Fragen gibt es denn? How would you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? Mm. Tatsächlich gar nichts davon. My lord, to tell you the truth, I don't see myself as a scientist. Well, consider us as a simple species still unknown to most of men. Thus, we are born. We have the capacity to change bodies, that is all. Ah, yeah. 
What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. Boah, ich ahne Schreckliches. I different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. Ich, ich komme mal was ganz Wildes. Was wäre, wenn er mit Sarah eine körperliche Verbindung eingegangen ist, nennen wir es mal so, und Louis sein Sohn ist? Ich, keine Ahnung, ob das... Weil irgendwie müssen sich ja seine Halluzinationen oder diese... Es nee, ist ja keine Lizenzion, sondern diese, ähm, der, was er, wenn er nachts träumt, da seine, wie heißt denn das? Ihr wisst, was ich meine. Alter, das wäre so krass. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Alazif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I... I can assure you that won't last long. Oh God, das macht mir Angst. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Oh God, ich habe Angst. What are the demons' projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, good. Oh. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come. You'll soon see. After you. <lacht> Wir arbeiten uns mal hier so rum. So, Von Borchard, he was looking for the Alazi for you. Exactly. Alazi has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. Oh, God. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that... We asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, They summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. I find auch, das hört sich halt wirklich nach einem Spiel an. Eigentlich interessiert mich das schon, aber ich will die Punkte dafür nicht ausgeben. <lacht> uh, ja gut. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though. 
No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. It was you who killed her. The child was already condemned. Oh my, God. my father would never have let her be. I had to pass inside her mind and, yes, make her take her own life. Trapped between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatments? I wouldn't wish a life like that on anyone, would you? So neither my mother nor Peru were ever guilty. You just gave me the runaround with that whole investigation. Now don't take it the wrong way. I was obliged to keep up appearances so that Gregory wouldn't suspect me. And it enabled me to size you up, Louis. Yeah, ja, nee, is richtig. Oh my god. Was ein Englisch ist ganz schön wild. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I've something to show you. Nicht mal ansatzweise. There there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh. Haven't you guessed yet? Also ich schon. <lacht> <lacht> ich weiß mal nicht, ob ich damit richtig liege. Äh, mach mal das. Ich weiß zwar nicht, ob ich das wirklich weiß, aber. I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? Äh, ob ich das gut heißen würde? Nein. No, I don't think so. I'm just a man and that's fine with me. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You as much as me, you are one of us, Louis. You too <laughs> are this. a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Yeah. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Mm. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep? Maybe. That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis, I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Wieso bin, sind wir denn kurz verschwunden? Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like... Okay, ich muss einmal ganz kurz gucken, äh, was konnte Peru... Psychologie ist eine Schwäche und Immunität, Befragung, Immunität. Hm. Monsieur Peru, I don't even know what this is all about. It's quite simple. You're like them. If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. They will corrupt you. It's inevitable. And I won't be able to resist, like you are now? Uh, well... Give me the benefit of the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Manipulation, Befragung, warte, auf was hat er? Ja. Warum ist er immun, ne? Wait, 
Jack, if it weren't for me, you, you'd be dead by now. You've seen who I am, and this so-called revelation makes no difference. I'm not a slave to my birth, and I refuse to pretend to be a victim. I am Louis de Richet. Do you really believe you've got enough strength to resist him? I am who I am. Only our actions truly define us. And you can threaten me all you want. It won't make any difference. Don't change, Louis. You're strong. I wasn't able to make it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. Ach, krass, ey. Jack, I'm the only one who can help you resolve the situation. Ich hätte können, dass er eine Tochter Just hat, Alter. You to trust me. I'm not against you. <lacht> It's over. Come now. <lacht> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you. And not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Oh mein Gott. Huh. Gut ihr Lieben, ich würde den Part an dieser Stelle aber beenden. Es ist mal wieder richtig, richtig viel passiert. Wahnsinn, ich, boah, das nimmt richtig Fahrt auf. Wir sind ein Dämon, was ich mir schon fast gedacht habe. Allerdings nicht ganz so, wie ich es mir gedacht habe, aber... Ich bin gespannt, wie das weitergeht. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr morgen wieder mit dabei seid. Und bis dahin. Tschüss.